toxins in water or cancers in the body that can take a long time to provide some life or death information. But well, researchers at UW Madison are hoping by engineering proteins, first responders and scientists could get those results in minutes. Arman Rahman has more on what they've discovered. Arman? Susan and Eric, there are many natural molecules like proteins that bind to other molecules, but UW biochemistry professor Bastin Rahman wanted to make them more specific. For the past four to five years, his team has worked to engineer proteins to bind to cancer drugs, antimalarial compounds, and even opioid drugs. This helps first responders like Fitrona EMS, who may have to deduce why patients may be unresponsive in the field. The moment it binds to the target molecule, the protein undergoes a shape change, which we can then read out as, um, um, say, fluorescence or something that we can visually observe. Really, it's actually a great thing, especially when they talk about uh, overdoses uh, or exposures. If we find a patient who's unresponsive, um, we can't ask them <laughs> what they took. So really, we are relying on uh, essentially seeing clues, right? What pill bottles can we find? And this research was done in collaboration with the Army and Air Force to develop biosensors to protect warfighters from chemical and biological threats, drinking water contaminants, and emerging toxins. Raman hopes it can be something accessible for even civilians to measure what's in their environment and body. Arman, thank